So there are other criminal laws which define a term of imprisonment from three years to five years. IPC 354A for sexual harassment, 354B for assault or use of criminal force with intent to disrobe her, for stalking, for the word gesture or act intended to insult the modesty of a woman. The IPC, uh, you know, uh, has provided imprisonment from three to actually seven years, you know, depending upon the situation. Another law called Indecent Representation of Women Prohibition Acts, uh, the, the uh, imprisonment from two years to five years. Uh, the harassment can be by indecent portrayal of women in books, films, photographs, paintings, etc. There are other laws which need disclosure. Companies Act has specified disclosure um, under Section 134 in the board's report. The statement should be mentioned that the company has complied with provisions relating to constitution of IC under the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Act. Uh, government company engaged in producing defense equipment and OPCs or small companies are exempted. Then SEBI regulations for listed companies also uh, are required to disclose in the corporate governance uh, section of the annual report about the number of complaints filed, number of complaints disposed of, and number of complaints pending redressal. Very, very important how we can, uh, we as human legal can help uh, in compliance under this law. We can, we help our clients uh, by drafting their posh policies, constituting an IEC. I myself am an external member in uh, in in a lot of uh, companies. Um, ensuring notices and displays again very very important. The law prescribes uh, that the law has prescribed that certain notices, uh, certain posters, or certain, some information needs to be displayed within the organization. So we help our clients um, draw. The, drafting and displaying those notices, conducting awareness workshops. Of course, I do that. Conducting capacity building workshops for ICs. Very, very important because like I mentioned earlier at the time of constitution of IC, you know, the, the so not all people uh, uh, have the, that legal knowledge. They may have the understanding of the law. They may have the capability to learn the law. It's important to teach uh, the IC members, uh, one, the the law, second, the implementation of the law, and thirdly, in case, you know, a complaint gets received, how to handle it. So it's very, very important that gets done through capacity building workshop for ICs. Investigation of posh complaints uh, gets handled by us. We also help in maintaining records of ICs, inquiry reports, attendance, etc. Defining in the board's report and annual return under the Act. Uh, it's time for the organizations uh, it's a calendar year requirement. Uh, you know, the Porsche Act is Jan to December requirement. The annual report uh, in Delhi, Haryana gets filed by 31st of January, even in Mumbai also. And again, the states, um, the labor offices inform the companies filing in their, uh, you know, falling in their jurisdiction on the last date or due dates of filing the return. So we help the clients to file annual, prepare and file the annual return. Welcome to Complinity Technologies. Complinity is India's leading governance, risk and compliance software helping companies to manage their compliance, contracts, litigation, legal updates, inter-financial controls and more. Complinity is a one-stop shop for all GRC needs. With our proprietary 12 GRC modules and real-time legal updates on 2000 plus laws and 24,000 plus compliances. All in an integrated platform that is easy to use with automated alerts and risk management capabilities. Is why compliance managers, general counsels and chief financial officers choose Complinity every time. Join the most innovative and prestigious brands that use Complinity. Automating your compliance management, request a demo at Complinity.com.